Hello engineers! This is a tutorial about ore and refinery management. First I will make here start with a simplified beginning which you can make without using a script which you, with the sorters. At first you have our collectors and that represents a uh, added ship of which is over a connector connected and from here on where we get our ores which we want to refine get into our base they are split in three sections one is for ore which goes to which are for refinery one goes to ice, which is for the gas works, and one for everything else. Start here with this ice sorter, set it to the white list, and only ice is inside. Only it will only let ice through, and it's set it to drain all on. This here is also set it whitelist and here are not this point or I set set it only uh, set it every single different or type into this list include your scrap metal because scrap metal also needs to be go to the refinery and also with drain all on and the last is for everything else. There are this one got the blacklist, and only ore is not allowed to get through. Now I can go here. This is our containers. One is for ice. One is for ores which go to the refineries and one for everything else and only one con one separate conveyor here goes to the sorters between the refineries in this sample here I have four refineries you uh, can do this also with one or more refineries these four sorters are on one side all together connected and on the other side also one together connected the reason is these four sorters got different settings like here this one the one sorter is for the main ingots like stone iron nickel silicon the next one only got cobalt and uh, magnesium one is only for uranium and platinum and one for gold and silver and I can turn them separate on and you can see only one is on and the refineries at the moment are off I'm ready to go here or here we have our cargo container which is for ore and the refineries at the moment got still uranium inside this is cause uh, uh, I tested it before I started the video mm. but here when you see look here on the cargo container the refineries pull pull always the first type of ore which is in, in the cargo container now in this, ca this case here it's um, iron when it went this way here it will take immediately or only the cobalt but when you see these both uh, at the moment I can't put them into the refineries cause the sorters are, are, are turned off 
also gets here with the scrap metal. Oh, I think I don't got the scrap metal on the list. So this will be this is the first part. And now from the refineries out gets all all together to another sorter. <clears throat> which will set oh, should also be drain all on and got a blacklist all ores scrap metal and old metal don't can't get go through here everything else will be pulled into my other container where everything else is going this is already here. Yeah, and I tried already some stuff that's uh, to test if it works correct. So the next part where I see here the <coughs> ice. There's our ice cargo. It goes under here and goes here to the gas works. And fill the oxygen tanks and the hydrogen tanks. But I also put it here and sort a block, which gets connected to my other stuff. Curse. This one should be set it to drain all off. The only active filters for whitelist oxygen bottle and hydrogen bottle so I when they when I refuel my bottles and I would and grab out somewhere else I need an option to reach them and <clears throat> on this side here it's like the same this is for the bottles so the bottles can go all I can put in the whatever where I am then put in a container or I can put uh, place them directly into my generators or in my tanks. So here I'm gonna go. But you see I have here two nazar sorters they are for switch like when i got here a connected chip or something and where is a also a o2 generator where i want to refine uh, some more more ice to hydrogen because when it's hydrogen powered i need to, an option to get ice from my ice cargo back to the ship for th this, I made the here a switch. Because what was necessary when, when I like here, this one is set to drain all. Everything what I put here will be immediately pulled back. So that would not function or work. To make these here with the switch, I can show you here. I go but this one let me this will be the same concept. Like when I got the welding ship, I will need components. Here they only get into my base and in this direction they get I can bring it bring it back to a ship. So I go here and I made a group uh, I made a group from the sorters Azar. These are the both sorters. This one I will set to button one. Then here and set them to toggle on off. Now I can, can switch them. Problem is, you, know, you can only do this by um, cockpit and G menu 
or a button panel. You can knot this over the key, do over the key menu. Or we look here. Brown other. I only can can turn them here all blocks on or all blocks off. Right click here. Only makes this one. It doesn't toggle the blocks only on and off. So you will need a section in the G menu or a button panel. So that this is an easy way to switch them without extra timers or something. So very simple solution. Good. This is the was the simplified version of how to do this with only with sorters. Now we're gonna make this with the SDSOS. Yeah, I already got my manual sorting system shown, which I which I already explained. And here I can set the sorters. I can switch the the white list or black list from one sorter. So while I get sorter number C is only on. And now I can go to my SDS, the custom data. Yep, sorter A, A. I will set all to sorter C. So I changed here the block which the script should control, not every single con every single sorter. We should do this all with the sorter number C. And the command is sorter list. If you don't know how to set these, um, from the playlist, uh, the other, the first videos, they explain how to make this menu and all this stuff around. And here I set it white slash, and then always one for one type or minus, and then I hear stone or iron or nickel or silicon and with the others well I changed this I need to recompile now I got <coughs> at the moment the one sorter which I only controlling is set it to uh, uranium platinum. Now I'm gonna switch him to stone and iron and silicon. When I go to my sorter number C, there you can see now it got the same setting like the original before, like uh, the sorter number one. So with the SDSOS, I don't need for um, every type, uh, every every setting, a separate sorter. I can do all different settings with one sorter. And this point here is for, I can turn on off drain all. So that so the sorter does pull or does not pull all what possible through. So it gets without only normal exit. If there is a refinery which gets space for refining, can get can get the ore to the refinery. And in this case, the sorter is pushing pushing as much as possible or to the refinery same as like here this one is uh, I can hear from the 
collector pad I can turn on and off the automatically emptying and this one is a show point there you can see are there already some ingots in the connect collectors then I can see there is something in cargo container or something full because it can't pull them anymore this is only for the normal this is for the ore cargo to see what the ingot is but also I can, let's turn on the refineries Are they working now? Yeah. Let me set you here one point. Well, you can see, I only got sorters which goes in this direction. What about gases? Gases can't go ignore the settings of a sorter. You can't. I uh, can't even set gases like hydrogen and oxygen for like a white list. Now I'm gonna take where's my eyes here. Go, go in there. Now I'm gonna connect this here. This the generator is off and it can fill. Same with the hydrogen tank. Can't fill. Like here, cause see, I got here a um, reactor. And to refill the reactor, the reactor, I need here this option to <coughs> to turn back uranium. Ah, this was not enough. Well, let's see me on. Now it should get an option to yes. Now it get from the refineries some um, refined uranium. Good, that's all for this video. I will make another part about this where you can uh, make with the SDS wares 100% control about over your refineries to make uh, the best way to refine your ingots. Okay, bye.